and I am back with a free play for you for Saturday. It's actually Friday afternoon when I'm doing this, so I just wanted to alert you. The West Coast Wise Guys play will not be on this video. I will send it on, <coughs> excuse me, Saturday and uh, to you, and so uh, it'll be in the comment section, so just be, be sure to look for it then, and so I'll have that. Uh, as far as anything else, well, because I'm doing this ahead of time, I haven't, uh, I haven't even started to look at the college basketball games yet, but I will, okay, as soon as this video is over, and so I'll likely have a, like I said in the, in the past video, a six or seven unit play in college basketball, and, a, and a, probably a pretty deep card. I got something I really like already, the NBA, uh, for Saturday, the, the uh, championship game of the in-season tournament. So I have a play for that. NHL, we'll just have to see, okay, as to what's going on there. So we have that. And, of course, as I mentioned before, NFL. i got a seven-unit best bet going on Sunday, along with two other plays, all available at the Doug Upstone page at Doc Sports. So let's get to today's free play for Saturday, Army and Navy, okay? Uh, you know, the first thing about this game that kind of struck me is that the winner of this game is going to be 6-6, six and six, but yet, uh, both teams were passed over for a bowl game. I thought that was kind of interesting. I, I didn't look to see. I know there's some five and seven teams, or I should say I know there's at least one. Haven't gone over all that either yet. But it just struck me that's kind of odd that uh, neither one, you know, like I mean, there's the Armed Forces Bowl and there's the one they play in Dallas typically. And so I just, I was surprised. Anyways, so we got uh, Army favorite. Okay, in this one, uh, they finished their season 3-0 and straight up and against the spread, and they were the first team to knock off Air Force uh, this season, at, which puts them in position if they win to win the Commander-in-Chief trophy. Now, we know the total is absurdly low at 28, okay? That's up from 27.5, by the way. And prior to the last two years, these teams had played 16 straight unders, okay? Well, the odds makers just keep dropping it. But the last two years, it's gone over. But both of those overs uh, were at 32. And last year's also was a um, in overtime for it to go over on that one. So that's, that's a little bit different here. I'm looking at this one at 28. And I think that between the two teams, I think there's going to be – both teams uh, generate turnovers. That's one thing they're good at. Army commits more of them than Navy does. But they both generate turnovers. And with that being the case, I think turnovers will lead directly to 7 to 10 points in this contest, which will take it over the total on that one. So that's what I got for you for today. Let's take the over 28 for Army and Navy on Saturday. Again, like I said, West Coast Wise Guys, look for it in the comment, comment section on Saturday. Uh, in all likelihood, it will be a college basketball game, or that's primarily what I'll be looking for. From that standpoint, we'll see what we can get done. Again, I'll have... Best bets on my page on Saturday. Look for them, okay, right there. Okay, take advantage of that. And don't forget about that NFL seven-unit best bet, hitting 75% of those babies since week three of the NFL season. So that's what I got for you. I'll be back Sunday with an NFL free play. This is Doug Upton for Doc Sports. Until next time, I'm out of here.